hi guys and welcome back to another video on Bluebeam Review. Right, so for today we're going to be talking about uh, how do you measure curves, right, curve shapes. So for those who are familiar with uh, PDFs, uh, you may be uh, used to doing like multiple clicks along a certain curve line in order to get your curves. Right, so with Bluebeam, uh, there are actually two methods of measuring a curve. We will be covering the first, of, first one of them uh, in this video, right, it's called Convert to Arc. Right, so I'm going to use uh, one of my saved tools, right, saved area measurement tools. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pick three points. So typically you want to pick three points of any arc or of any curve, right, pick three points. So the three points are basically the start point, the middle point, and the end point. And when you reach a straight line, no issue, just click, uh, click normally. And when you reach another curve, which is this whole curve here, I'm going to click the start point, which I've already clicked on. I'm going to click the middle, and I'm going to click the end. And after I finish, I'll just close off. So you will have this. Now the straight lines, not to worry because there's no curves. But for the lines that need to become curves, what you do is that you right click on the line itself. So you can see here that my outline color is blue, my fill color is orange. So if you happen to cl right click on the orange uh, area, you will not have this button active, convert to arc. So what you need to do is that you need to right click on the blue line itself, which is the outline itself. Right, once I click convert to arc, you will see that it comes out like this. Right, so depending uh, on the drawing itself, sometimes it may be uh, accurate, sometimes it may be off by a little bit. Right, so it depends on your drawing. Now let's talk about how do we adjust, right? So you notice that all the corners here, there are these yellow dots. So all these are called control points. So control points will appear at every single mouse click that you click on the drawing, right? So you can see here is that the mouse click here and the mouse click here were as a result of my mouse clicks just now. But after I convert uh, this line into an arc, there will be additional uh, control points which is over here and over here as well all right so what do those mean if i zoom in you will see that there is actually a dotted line if you notice there's actually a dotted line here all right so whenever you have that sort of a control point coming out that means that you can actually left click and drag so as i move my mouse do you see that there is a white uh, that there's, there's a black kind of uh, line moving around so that means you can actually adjust. You can adjust which direction your curve goes to, right? So basically, you can use it to adjust if uh, the measurement has gone a little bit off. You need to adjust it a little bit in, uh, whichever that you need to do, right? So that is how you measure uh, of a curve, right? So you just adjust wherever you need to. In a in a case like this where it aligns nicely, then yes, you do not need to actually uh, change it or you need, don't need to actually arrange it. So this turns out fine, right click. This turns out fine as well. Right, so this is uh, the first method, uh, which is convert to up. Right, I hope this video has helped you out. Thank you.